All right. Good morning, Cyber Traders. How's everybody doing? Give, let me let me get a little chat back if everybody can hear me loud and clear. All right. Good to see you, Mark, Phil, everybody. All right. Happy trading, everyone. We only got two more days until the end of the month. Good to see you all. So we got a lot of good stuff that's going on. Looks like a lot of you guys are doing pretty well on that short right there on the UAA. You can see that thing took a big hit, huge hit right here. Early bird gets the worm, everyone. We'll talk a little bit about that, but that thing has been doing phenomenal. I saw we got a couple of you guys did pretty well already. Uh, a few of you already took it some nice profits. Ben already made about 30 cents on the short. <laughs> I don't know if you still got the short on that, Ben. That thing looks like it's tanking. That thing is really taking a big hit. Anyway, a couple of stocks uh, that we're going to be watching. We're going to talk about what we traded yesterday. But first and foremost, before we continue, ladies and gentlemen, I want to just remind everybody about Tom Sosnoff that is coming today. Uh, I don't know if you guys, I assume a lot of you know it if you're in the trading industry. But uh, Tom is uh, basically one of the godfathers of the option market. He literally changed it, you know, when he first, when he first came out with Thinkorswim. And I know we have a lot of Thinkorswim platform traders out there. But uh, listen, you want to see something, what happens from, uh, from someone rebuilt a new platform from 15 years ago, uh, from the Thinkorswim to the Tastyworks, you don't want to miss this. It's like buying a car that's 15 years old. There's nothing wrong with it. But with technology and everything, it'll blow you away. Plus, you know, he's, got, he's probably got the hottest show in, uh, in the Internet right now. So, um, but, he's, but we're so happy to have him back. It is so exciting. Uh, he's, been, he's a long-time friend of mine. Always, every time I meet him, he's the most nicest guy. So I expect, every, it's, I expect it to be a very exciting one. And I expect every single one of you guys here in the Cyber Group room and in YouTube and everyone to register and to be here. All right, very, very important you guys show up for this event because uh, we're very fortunate to have him. He's such a busy guy, and he always makes time for us, so that, uh, that I'm looking forward to. In the meantime, everyone, let's do some shopping and talk about what is moving in the market and what was hot and what was not. First of all, uh, the MYL trade, that stock was pretty good. It wasn't the greatest, I mean, not as nice as the short that we're looking at right now in uh, Under Armour, but the stock is obviously a really, really nice little stock right there. Um, nice little short. Some of you guys did pretty well on it, but there were a couple of other ones that were a lot better. The, my favorite was the, um, w which was the LXRX. I mean, when it rains, it it's a hurricane. Okay, I mean, it's beyond pouring. This thing had such a catastrophe, and I tell you all the time, every single time, pharmaceutical stocks when they get crushed, they don't come back. Remember, I was talking about, you know, the the, the movie yesterday um and hopefully it's stuck in a lot of you guys heads but i told you about the planet of the apes movie the first one i mean the, not the first the original movies but the first movie the motion mo movie that was made and the goal was that when you watch that movie that whole movie was predicated on a pharmaceutical company coming out with a drug for alzheimer's and when the stock gets crushed it was a good example of it just like i told you one of the best movies as a trader to watch is the biggest short and you know what? You're going to watch it like three times, four times. And you know what? Not that being a movie buff, but a lot of what we do every day is predicated on trading. And these movies have the whole thing, you know, regarding it. So, you know, getting back to LXRX, you know, it wasn't hard to borrow because it was above $5 and you had to get it early because a lot of brokerage firms, listen, once they give up those shorts, everyone takes it away. They don't have any more to let you borrow. But it was a great short from three dollars down to a buck sixty. You still had a great opportunity to get that short off. Um, and also, um, which is moving today, is the OT, the o o OSTX. That stock has been just on a on a big big push. Ten dollars to twenty two in less than a, a little bit more than a month. Stocks up a hundred percent on a swing trade. She was nice, you know, up about maybe 10, 20% yesterday. She's up another 5% today. Stock is very, very, very strong. Uh, love it. And then obviously, you know, one of the big winners I have is in that is also that we're doing really well is on this Luke and coffee. I mean, Luke and coffee was just phenomenal. Once it broke that resistance levels right around 26, we're in good shape right here. So right now it's testing supports. It, it was up as 2750 at, you know, five o'clock this morning. Maybe it was trading in China then. But, uh, but listen, stock is moving great. Unbelievable stock right there. So love it. 
All right, uh, we're doing pretty good on that swing swing trade. All right, so what's going on this morning? Because there are a couple of stocks that are on the watch list. Let's start off with the uh, with the UAA. Let's go back to that one. So, oops. So UAA is just getting decimated. Just when you think it's too late to short, guess what? It's going lower. All right. Uh, let me bring up a better looking chart because we're looking at a three day chart. If you think of a one minute chart, look how disgusting that is. And guess what? Fausto flag, lower lows. Um, listen, I was just checking over here on the level four. And let me just look over here on level four. I mean, there were sellers. I mean, th there's not huge orders like you could see over here on the on the on the level three, but I'm looking at level fours. Man, there was a big buyer out there around 2340. Once he got hit, it was goodbye. You know, and then there was a buyer around 2995. He got nailed. And I'm telling you, I don't see any buyers. So 21. And it's not even a lot. It's like 1,500 shares. Okay, so looks like there's a lot more room there to move. And remember, there are two stocks. There's UAA and there's UA. One is, um, I don't know, one's more of a warrant type of stock. You know, there's different classes of stocks. So sometimes you always notice some stocks have um, more than one symbol, which, once again, that's not really that important to you. Well, it's important we cover that in class uh, as for voting shares, what it all has to do. But, but there are two stocks you could trade. So it's UA and UAA. All right. The next one on the watch list is the V. VLRX. VLRX is up about 14%. I don't know what happened. She had a really nice push. She was up as high as 360. She backed down to 280. I like that she's hovering here at this price. So a lot of orders. Look on the right-hand side. A lot of orders out there. So you got some good iceberg orders you can go by. So this one is not really that bad. I mean, you got a, You can look over there on the right. You got already got a 12,000 share seller sitting at 310. So that kind of makes sense why I backed off over there. Uh, as buyers goes, I mean, you got a decent buyer at 280. So if it holds there, you know, that, that could kind of work out. The LK is going back on the watch list. Obviously, you know, this is our, our swing trade. It's not really a fun day trade, though. ACST. ACST right here. This stock, you know, it's kind of funny. It's a it's a level one type of stock. I mean, it's not really level one right now with the spread. But look at that long term chart right there. I mean, since July, the stock was about a dollar. It's already at almost three dollars. It's a pharmaceutical stock. Obviously, they did something good. So this looks like a little bit of a sleeper. Now, if you go back and look at a two day chart, you could see like it doesn't move that much. But you could trade a lot of shares of it. You could look ten thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand. So you know. 10,000 shares of stock like this moves a penny. It's $100 every penny. But overall, the stock is doing pretty good. So definitely I would keep a very close eye on that one too. It's, uh, and it's also a good beginner's trader stock too. But friend is your friend. Let's not buck that trend. S-E-N-S-N-E uh, uh, -E is another one. Breaking all-time highs. It, it, it's, it's Sony. I mean, we, it's moving, you know, the, the chart, very gappy type of stock. But um it looks like it's going to break an all-time high for 52-week high. So that, that's really good. So if it does break it, this could have, have also a nice push. But, you know, to me, this one's more of a second protocol. MDR got destroyed yesterday. Right after hours. Guess earnings didn't work out too well for that one. Right now it's at $6. It looks like it's hovering right around the support levels right here. You've got a 9,600 share buyer at, three, at 630 right now. I want to see if it holds there. If that guy gets done, bye-bye. But as of right now, it looks pretty strong. It looks like a Fausto flag on the uptrend right there. What else we got? We, we already know about the OSTK. Not only has it been a good day trade, it's been a great swing trade. Beyond Meats. Anybody crying about this stock? I mean, $50 stock. We saw this thing take off. It went as high as almost $250. Uh, down about, I don't know. What is that? Uh, 40 points. 14%. I guess the earnings that came out didn't work out too well for that stock. All right. So, uh, listen, it's still expensive. I mean, what? I mean, you got to give this stock credit. That is one hell of a happy move.
You did great on that one. And that ends it. But Beyond Meats, guys, you know we're not going to trade anyway. Well, why? Why go trade a hundred and a hundred two hundred dollar stock when we could trade something a quarter a tenth of the price and still make the same amount of money? Andrea saying uh, UA is trying to hold uh, at twenty. It looks like it's going to break it. <laughs> I don't know about that twenty support. I mean, it is there, Andrea. Let's see what happens. But uh, looking over here, I see a. Un, actually, I'm looking at the wrong one. On book map, I got UAA. Uh, UAA has got a fourteen thousand share buyer right now at two fifty seven. So huge buyer sitting there right now. So let's see. She they just came, and now it's thirty three thousand. So um, looks like it looks like we're going to probably test supports level. Probably I would probably consider going long here myself. If that guy gets done, I'm out. But he's sitting there right now. He's not too far. So pretty good trade right there. Looks like she's trying to go back up. You can see it's holding right there. Pretty good. Yep. Got a low up. Uh, Drop down to 15,000. I don't know if that guy got executed. Yeah, look at the time in sales. We got a couple of big orders there. 1,500 going down there. All right, we can see if it breaks it. All right, guys, in the meantime, sorry to keep you late. Uh, don't forget, before we go, for everyone who logged in late, we got Tom Sosnoff coming in today. So if you have not registered yet, please go there and go to click on the link that we post up there. And we'll see you. And you also got Traders Talk at 1 o'clock. So you got a busy day. And then tomorrow we start the new phases of the classes. And then Thursday, we got Cyber Expo. We got four great presenters that are coming on uh, from you know, the best minds of, uh, in the industry. So remember, everyone, you got to learn before you can earn, all right? Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. I'll see you in the trading room. See you in the uh, – and then we'll see you in the next uh, uh, audio broadcast at 1 o'clock and then uh, at the afternoon with Tom Sosnoff. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.